Ripper Mix is a fast, effective and engaging design tool to help encourage creativity and innovation in both designers and non-designers. We've applied this method to many different situations. This brief overview will explain how it works and what its benefits are. Ripper Mix is a design method we developed jointly with T-Labs at Deutsche Telekom in Berlin. The objective was to develop a design method that was both highly productive and open to non-designers to use. It works in large groups and small teams. Here we're using it with 140 public sector accountants. And here with a small group of school teachers. The method invites collaboration and conversation between participants. It also invites a playful, physical and visual approach. If we consider it in terms of the double diamond model, Ripper Mix is used in the develop phase, where we want to generate a broad range of possible solutions. Here, we see teams of college staff using Ripper Mix to solve problems in learning and teaching, developing new concepts that can be explored, refined and developed further. The method centers on using this simple worksheet. On it, characteristics from a pleasurable service are ripped and mixed with something which is currently causing you or your users pain to create ideas for new services. To use the method, the only materials needed are post-its, pens, worksheet templates and pleasure cards. Participants are given cards with a drawing of a pleasurable product or service. We now have cards of over 50 different pleasurable services from listening to the radio in the car to a cruise down the Norwegian fjords, from Amazon tracking to a personal shopper. These are quickly analysed using the Rip and Mix worksheet. Under the categories of function, stakeholders, infrastructure resources, physical formal components of the service and emotional characteristics. They fill in the first column of the sheet by drawing it, naming it and briefly describing and analysing it. After this, the teams discuss pain points or problems and reach a consensus on which one they'll tackle. This is then drawn, named, described and analysed using the same categories. The final stage involves quickly and intuitively selecting components from the pleasurable and painful experiences to create new products or services, ripping and mixing, a bit like a DJ. In this final stage, we're looking for a broad description, not an analysis of the same categories. In this example, the pleasurable service was visiting the hairdresser, while the pain point was the underutilization of pleasant spaces. This led to the concept of new garden appointments. And here, the pleasure card was about listening to the radio in the car, mixed with the problems of cross-departmental working, resulting in an organisational radio station to improve communication and interaction. Ripper Mix provides a number of benefits. It makes knowledge of design products and services visible and usable. It's very productive in terms of generating ideas. It's a method that complements user-centred design. It's open to non-designers because the initial stages do not assume prior design knowledge. And it takes design away from the computer, emphasising physical recording, sketching and collaborative working. People we have introduced it to often embed it into their regular practices. Elaine Lawther of the LHS says, I use Ripper Mix whenever I'm thinking about problems and looking for new ways of solving them. It's really helped me make some breakthroughs in my thinking. In Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, leading international service designer Mahmoud Abdul Rahman is an advocate of the Ripper Mix method. Ripper Mix brings everyone into the creative phase of service design, enabling designers and non-designers to develop new ideas. The method transforms non-design trained participants' view of themselves as not creative by enabling them to generate both implementable quick win solutions and blue sky future scenarios. The visual aspects of the method enable conversations and idea generation to be shared in teams and the method can also be used individually to help creative thinking.